Hello there, fight friends. Andy Cotterell here with Tanya Najar here at Niagara Top Team in St. Catharines, Ontario. Tanya, I've been following you for a while. I've seen you train all over the place, down the States and BC. Uh, and, and to my surprise, you were in Niagara Top Team this morning. Tell me what, what brought you here. Uh, so actually, I heard that Jasmine was going to be in camp for her fight in Vancouver. Um, and I have a fight on the 17th, so it was just good timing. Jelly set us up, her pad holder. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd come out here and check it out. I'm back in Canada right now, so nice. yeah. So for fans who haven't seen you before, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I just made my pro debut last year in August uh, for Combate. Um, I had a few amateur fights a few years ago and I took some time off and now I'm coming back stay, trying to stay active. Um, and then I yeah, have a fight coming up in Alberta on, on June 17th there. Yep. Speaking about that fight, you're fighting Shannon Clark at Rumble in the Cage, co-main event at Rumble in the Cage 65, which by the way is Canada's oldest mixed martial arts promotion. Nice. And you're the co-main event. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> some people try to say they are, but no, it's it's Rumble in the Cage. Yeah, yeah. Lee, Lee Mean gets really triggered if somebody else says they are. So anyway, uh, you're fighting Shannon. Tell us what you know about her and, and where you see this fight going. Yeah, um, so I know she's like a solid athlete. Uh, she's super strong. Um, I think she's a little bit more grapply than she is stand-up. Uh, for me, I'm just going to play my regular game. Um, if I can finish it on the feet, I'd love to do that. If I have to take it to the ground, I'm comfortable there. Um, I'm feeling pretty well-rounded, so yeah, wherever it goes. Well, you just said that you feel like you're pretty well-rounded, and it's funny because here at Niagara Top Team, I get to see a lot of fighters that come from elsewhere to, to try their hand. They hear the hear the hype about Niagara Top Team, and they try it for themselves. Some of them work out really well. Some of them, you look at them, and you can tell that already they're within five minutes are overwhelmed and they're wondering what they're doing there. Today watching you, you seem like you fit in quite well, especially with a, a wrestling heavy practice like today. Yeah. You, you didn't seem out of place. Yeah, I just got off the plane uh, late Saturday night, so I'm still kind of adjusting my body, but uh, it's nice to get into a really hard session. It just kind of breaks the barrier and gets you ready for the week. Um, I love hard wrestling sessions and I knew it was going to be, be hard training out here, um, but that's what I'm looking for. So yeah, felt good. It was a good session. Uh, training with Jasmine is, is awesome. So I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you do train in the States. Tell us a bit about that, where you live and who you train with. Uh, so I'm living back in Canada. I was just there for six months. Um, I'm going to try to work on getting a visa and maybe do some trips back down there. Um, I trained out in Austin for a bit, and then also I made some trips to Denver just to check it out um, to see kind of what the training was like down there. Um, it was really good, and I'm, I'm back home now. I'm going to do camp, camp in Kelowna, where I'm from. Um, and then, yeah, see if I want to go back to the States or come out here maybe to do some camps. Yeah. Is that at Toshido? At Toshido, yeah. Yeah, back home at Toshido in Kelowna. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a week left here. You're already talking with Jelly and Jasmine about coming back in tonight for a second training session, even though the gym is going to be closed for Victoria Day. What's the rest of your week? Are you going to be busy, hardcore, all day, every day? Uh, yes, yeah, so it'll be two sessions a day. So we're going to come in and do some light work tonight. Um, and then tomorrow morning, we're back at it. So every morning, like 10 or 11, I'll be in. And then in the evening, we do like our second second section session. I can't talk. <laughs> but uh, I fly out on Sunday morning, so I've got, got the week here. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm excited to watch you. It's always cool to see when fighters do well outside of Canada, and especially when you return and see how that all ties in. And I love seeing new fighters make their make their inroads into uh, recognition and, and, and main events, co-main events, and kind of stuff like that. So I'm excited for you. Uh, thanks for speaking with me. And uh, fight fans, make sure you follow her on all, all her social medias, which are what? Uh, I'm Tanya... Tanya underscore Najar MMA. Um, I'm not on Twitter or anything. My Instagram, that's pretty much the one I got. Yeah, so if you want to follow me, you can follow me on there. Yeah. Well, Tanya, we, uh, I'm sure we'll all be watching your fight June 17th from Lethbridge. Is it Lethbridge? Lethbridge, Lethbridge Alberta. Alberta. Okay, congratulations. Thank Good you. training session today, and hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you go, fight friends. Follow Tanya on our social medias, and make sure you watch Rumble in the Cage on pay-per-view June 17th. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward, forward to Tanya being down, talented athlete, um, really looking forward to like getting in that, that we got into live work today, and uh, can't wait, I wish she was staying longer than a week, but you <laughs> know, too. we're going we're gonna to bring her back here as soon as we can, she's got a fight coming up as well, so uh, yeah, let's go.